In this video, we're going to take a look at how to find the last node of a linked list imperatively. So a linked list is made up of node objects. Each node object has a data property, which is the contents of the node, and a next property, which is a reference to the next node in the list. And so we chain these together by saying A, the first node refers to B, the second node, the second node refers to the C node, and finally the C node refers to null. When the next property of a node is null, it means we've reached the tail of our list. So the tail of our list is this node here. And that's the goal of this function that we're trying to, to figure out. How do we find the last node of a singly linked list? Well, how do we find the tail of a singly linked list? And the answer to that is we need to find the node that has a next property value of null. So typically with a linked list, you'll start with a reference to the head of the list. And this is the first node. And what we're gonna do is set up a temporary variable, a reference that will keep track of which link we are looking at, which node in the list we are looking at uh, named current. And so current is going to be assigned a reference to the head node to begin with. And that is gonna look something like this, right? So we're gonna say current is assigned head. And what we're doing here is we're saying, take the contents of the head node, which is this reference here, and assign that same value to current. So current is also going to be a reference to this node here. And so now current refers to the very head node of our list. And we need to check to see, is this the tail node? Well, how would we know? We would ask, is current's next property null? In this case, it's not. It refers to another node. So because current next property is not equal to null, we would say, all right, take the reference that is in the next property of the current node. So take current's next property, which is this reference right here, and assign that same reference to be in current, right? So current is no longer gonna be a reference here. It's going to be a reference to the next node. And so now we've got a reference to the second node in our list, current is here, and we have to make that exact same check again. We're gonna say, hey, is the next property of our current node null? In this case, no, it is not null because there is a node that it refers to. So because the next property is not null, we're going to say, all right, we'll take the current contents of the next property and assign that to be what current refers to. So rather than current referring to the second node, it's going to refer to the third node. And so we've moved along further in our list, and now current refers to this node C. And we ask again, hey, is the next property of the current node null? Yes, in this case it is. And so that means we've found the tail node. And so current now is a reference to the tail node or the last node in our list. So we would return the current node back to the caller. 